Welcome to Browser Stack Automate, the leading test automation platform, providing on-demand access to over 2,000 real mobile devices and desktop browsers. Testing on Automate is easy. Write your Selenium test cases and trigger them from your machine. Your tests then execute on a highly reliable cloud infrastructure. And finally, simply view and debug the results on the Automate dashboard. With Automate, you can accelerate your testing from hours to minutes by running thousands of tests in parallel. You can focus on scaling up testing and shipping code faster while we manage the pains of maintaining the test infrastructure. Automate has helped over 25,000 teams implement continuous testing at scale and get faster feedback. Our platform provides access to browsers on real Android and iOS devices, Windows and Mac, with a coverage of over 2,000 popular device and browser combinations. We constantly update our coverage to include the latest devices and browser versions, including the latest flagship iPhone, Samsung Galaxy, Google Pixel, OnePlus, and iPad models. And if you're behind a firewall or wish to keep your development servers private, Automate has you covered there. With BrowserStack Local, you can establish a secure tunnel between the BrowserStack Cloud and your private network, ensuring our browsers can access your application without compromising the security of your data. Migrating your existing testing suites to BrowserStack is simple. With just a few additional lines of code, you can start testing them on the BrowserStack platform. We have some great documentation which you can access on our website to get started. Today, I'm going to be running Selenium tests using Ruby, but we support a number of languages including Java, JavaScript, C Sharp, and Python. You can check our documentation for more information on how to use your preferred language and framework with BrowserStack Automate. So if you don't already have the Selenium bindings for the language that you're going to be using to test, please make sure you install them before proceeding. And the documentation has the install commands if you need them. So I'm going to be using this sample script, which is going to go to google.com, search for browser stack, and return the page title. So I've already got this copied out in my text editor. And you'll see that the test script starts with the capabilities section here, which tells browser stack how to run your test. Here you specify the devices, browser versions, operating systems, and screen resolution that you want to run your test on. You can also specify other test configurations like logging and local testing, to name a couple. We've built a handy tool called the Capabilities Generator to help you build this section out. You can simply point and click to pick your language, your capabilities, debugging options, and more. This page is an exhaustive list of all the capabilities you can set and how they work. You can find this tool at the link which is on your screen or by clicking on the Capabilities button on the Automate product page. So, back to my test. I want to run this on the latest version of Windows on Chrome. I'm going to leave the screen resolution as it is, as I will with the Selenium version and the Chrome driver version. I'm going to call my project demo. The build number I'm going to set as 1. And the test name I'm going to set as test run. So these are going to help me find and identify my test runs on the dashboard. I want to test on the internet, so I'm going to make sure that enable browser stack local is set to false. I'll, ab I'll enable this if I want to test on internal servers or on my local host. I want to have screenshots of various steps in my test, so I'm going to set debug to true. And console logs refers to the output from your browser's JS console, which can be very useful for troubleshooting as well. Uh, and I'm going to be uh, setting this to errors. I want to set network logs for true. So these logs capture the browser's network traffic as a half file and can be used for some low-level debugging and performance analysis. And I also want to make sure that I have a video recording and also Selenium logs. I can also configure tests to run on a custom time zone if I want. And if I was to test on a mobile device, I can also set the network quality. So for example, uh, if I wanted to know how my page would run, uh, on a 3G connection, perhaps I have that option too. So, as you can see, my capability section has been generated, and I'm just going to simply copy it, and I'm going to replace what I have already here, and there we go. Next, point your script to run on the browser stack hub with your username and access key. This is automatically generated in the sample script documentation, and you can also find it on the Automate dashboard. If you were to use your own Selenium instance, you might see something on the lines of localhost or another internal IP address which points to your Selenium grid on your existing scripts. But we want the script to run on the browser stack cloud, so this step is key. And finally, here comes the test code itself. So now that my script is ready, I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And if I head over to the browser stack dashboard, I can now see that this test is running. And I'll be able to see it as it executes. 
if I click on start an interactive session. But I'm just going to wait for a couple of seconds and wait for this to finish. So once the test is completed, I'll be able to see whether it was successful and view a complete set of logs. So first we start with the text logs, which give you a step-by-step -step breakdown of your Selenium or JS tests with screenshots, and it can help you identify and troubleshoot every single step of your test. We also have a video log, which shows a video recording of your test as it ran on the device. And as I mentioned earlier, while we were configuring the capabilities, we also have access to console logs, network logs, and Selenium logs, which can help you get further insight on how your test ran. Finally, on the left-hand side, we have input capabilities, and if you're using a mobile device, device capabilities, to help you understand the various conditions under which your test ran. There are other integrations to enhance your workflow and make testing and debugging a lot easier. By heading over to the More button here and clicking on Create Issue, you can report bugs seamlessly to Jira, Trello, GitHub, and Slack. Automate also fits seamlessly into your testing pipeline by offering plugins for popular CI CD tools like Jenkins, Travis, TeamCity, Bamboo, and Azure pipelines. A full list of integrations is available on our website. So now that you've learned how to run a simple test in Automate, let's look at unlocking its true potential by scaling up and running hundreds of tests in parallel. You can reduce the amount of time you spend waiting for tests to execute by configuring them to run concurrently. And you can also increase your device coverage by running tests on multiple devices at the same time. So I'm going to run the same test on Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows to demonstrate this using the parallel test gem in Ruby. You can check our documentation for how to implement parallel testing with your preferred languages and frameworks. So as you can see, I've got my four scripts for each of the devices and browser combinations. And I'm going to go ahead and execute this using the parallel test command. And as you can see, there are four tests running simultaneously on the browser stack dashboard. And with just a simple example, I've cut down my build times by a factor of four by executing them in parallel. Check the video description for some helpful links on testing with Automate. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helps you get started on BrowserStack Automate, the leading test automation platform.